it, but Marty's on that break, the new break. And then I'm going to do this way. Marty was just, uh, yeah, he was just very sweet, kind, uh, thoughtful, but super quiet guy, and um, a, a man of one word answers, so uh, I always had to be sure to ask him a question that required more of an explanation in the answer instead of, yep, nope, and um, he was always uh, very very thoughtful in a quiet way, just not having to be asked to do anything. Um, he would just do it. He would, he would go and help somebody out if they needed help. He could always just be counted on for that kind of thing. He was uh, just, he kind of kept to himself, but he had a lot of friends and was always going to somebody's house for a barbecue um, in the summer or um, most weekends you could find him out out in his driveway working on a car. Old cars were a passion of his. He just, from the time he was 16 and got his first old car, he was always, he always had a car project. There was never a time where he didn't have a car project. And um, he loved tinkering, loved creating. Uh, as a kid, he would do model airplanes and model cars and he had his whole room was covered with model airplanes hanging from the ceiling and uh, he used to put firecrackers in some of them and and light them and sail them out his window from our second from the second story and uh, he just yeah he just he loved to have fun like that we we had a lot of fun as kids together too so he was just yeah he was just a really sweet kid it, it really, really special. In the beginning, when, when I found out that his name was going on the jet, that was super special um, because it just said a lot for how everybody felt about him out here. And, you know, he had been out here for so long, and this was his, you know, it's like a second home, second family. And that was really special. And then when I found out about the, the artwork, uh, with the shark's teeth and stuff, it just was all very fitting because that was his thing. For some reason, he was, he got fixated on sharks a long time ago and that became his moniker and he was super artistic and came up with his own drawings for um, the, his, his own land shark, his car and, and the drawings and he was always tinkering and, and, and sketching things and really artistic that way. So this is really a special honor for us. I would always ask Marty, like, do you think you're ever going to do anything else? You know, he had his degree in engineering, and, and from time to time he would talk about doing something else. And, and, uh, and I think he just, he just had a love for what, you know, he loved kind of, he loved being out here with the airplanes, and he loved doing what he was doing that, he never really wanted to switch and do anything else. And um, it just ended up being like this, is, this is, was his home. And I know, you know, every year he would talk about being with the guys and he loved going on, the, um, on his missions. He loved going out of the country. And because he wasn't married and didn't have any kids, he had the freedom to go. And uh, he just, he loved those adventures. And, uh, I think, yeah, this was, this was just another, another home for him. Uh, I've been working with Marty since 2003 uh, as a crew chief. And then and fast forward to 2014, uh, I came off alert. And then Marty had quit his full-time job then. And I was uh, honored to take one five, Aircraft 151 from him as a crew chief as Marty moved on. Marty was probably the smartest guy out here. And you never had to 
never had to tell you he was smart. We just, we knew who to go to. He had that engineering brain. Uh, as his sister had stated, he was very quiet, but he was very smart. So when he, when Marty spoke, he'd listen. So when he wasn't talking, he was thinking. He was uh, constantly, he was just a thinker, always figuring out how to redesign things and better the product. Uh, so what I understand, what I know of Marty, the shark, the shark teeth are, I guess since college, it was his thing. It was his signature. Um, they picked 151 because it was his jet prior and it couldn't be a more fitting thing. Uh, I guess it started in college is what I've been told by the family with his cars. Uh, he was known to cut the tops off the cars and put shark fins on them. So, and then in 2004, him and his team did the, uh, the, the bobsled race up in uh, Hood River and created the shark mobile in one first place. So uh, anything you see with shark, most of his friends and all his family always think of Marty. So this is a great way to carry on the tradition of, of Marty, his, his jet, you know, with his uh, signature to carry on forever. He's missed, that's for sure. You know, not only his friendship, but just his, uh, his compassion.